trying to get that off for ages. Don't mention it. I don't suppose you have any clue what's going on. Not an inkling. I'm Jordan, by the way. Robin, I heard? Yes, and behind you is Gab. Pleasure. Now, uh, considering we don't know what the hell is going on around here, how about you get me uncuffed so we can get out of here? Greetings. Welcome to the reward game. That's the voice from... I am Theta. You are now in my library. A place of knowledge and entertainment. You will find little solace in these books, however, when it comes to matters. You will notice an out-of-place contraption. Inside this contraption is a singular coin laying with one of its faces upright. I assure you it is a regular and fair coin, though you cannot see it. Also inside is the key to the handcuffs two of you find yourselves with. How then can you retrieve this key? Simple. Restrain yourself from the device, then choose what face you believe the coin to be on by pressing the corresponding button. Choose correctly and both the restraints and the key will be released. Choose incorrectly and you won't believe in those restraints. You have five minutes to decide before the key to the handcuffs and to the doors in this room becomes permanently locked away. What the hell? This is 50-50 gamble of my own life from a stranger? This is bullshit. Let me out. Well, knock us both over. Let me out. Let me out. Come on. Shut up, okay? You're not making things easier. What, are you, what am I supposed to do, okay? I'm just sitting here waiting for some stranger to sign my life based on chance? Well, maybe it's not by chance. Just think. Like, maybe you saw somebody put the coin in there, or there's a clue. Just think. I don't remember anything about being here. I just remember driving home, and then... Jordan, anything? <sighs> no. Just darkness after I went to sleep last night. This is, this is hopeless. All this is just stupid chance. Me being here, this dumbass game. Just just choose. I don't even want to know. Gab, what do you think? I don't, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It could be either. Just head. Heads? I think so. It's my gut choice. I... No, tails. Hell if I let this decision get made by people I don't even know. Just pick tails. So it's a tie between our vote then. What vote? It's not like it matters. You're the one pressing the damn thing. I guess you're right. As long as I pick one, it doesn't really matter. And time's almost out. Heads. Tails. You have chosen heads. You have earned your first reward. Failure. Incorrect. Brian! Idiot! You killed us! You killed us! You killed us! You killed us!
I'm Jay, by the way. Charmed. Ditto. Maybe if I talk this all out, I can make some sense of this. Okay, so I woke up in a dark room, and a voice over an intercom told me to pick one of three doors. I think they said their name was Theta? You heard that voice too. It said we were playing the reward game, and all we had to do was wait to keep playing. That was a few minutes ago. It was probably the same person. Yeah, the reward game. It said something about me earning nine rewards, but I have no idea what that means. We didn't get told that. Maybe it's something special, only for you. Anyways, I picked a door, and I walked into a library. And inside of that was Gab and this person I never met before, Jordan. And they were handcuffed to some chairs. Theta said the only way to get the key would be to strap myself into this machine and guess the face a coin landed on. What the? We had a deadline of five minutes before the machine would shut down and prevent us from getting the key. So you guessed right then? No! I was stuck to the machine and I guessed wrong. It stabbed me right in the stomach and I blacked out. But you woke up without a stab wound. Exactly! There's no mark! It's like I was never stabbed at all. So how did you end up in the hallway? I have no idea. I woke up on the ground in there. The only thing that I found was this little bottle. So for real. This sounds like a drug from some video game. Kind of. It is a drug, but it's an anesthetic. I'm a nurse. I see it all the time. I've never seen this kind before, though. This must be Silver All Delta. So you're saying this might have made me black out? That must be what they used to kidnap us. Well, maybe. But it could be used for something else. It might even be a fake label. But it looks empty, so... That's okay. I don't think we needed it much anyway. Greetings. Welcome to the reward game. I am Theta. You are now in my classroom, a place of study and ideas. You'd better go take the notes. Notice on the board is a completed Sudoku puzzle. Use this as your example for those unfamiliar with the game. It's a simple logic puzzle in which each row, column, and 3x3 three three box must contain the numbers 1 through 9. No also on the board is the blank beginning of another. Your task then is to finish this puzzle before your time limit of 90 seconds. Not even two minutes? I can really Fail and the puzzle will disappear, leaving you trapped in this room with bulletproof windows and sealed doors. Complete it and the door will open. How are we supposed to- Your time begins now. What do we do? There's no way we have to try! <laughs> Morgan? You pause for a second there. Are you sure you're okay? Your story's not making much sense. My story? Yes, you were telling us what happened to you. First you said you died in front of Gab, and then you left the classroom with Logan in it? That makes no friggin' sense. Yeah, it does seem to be lacking believability. See, Casey over here doesn't get it either, and he seems way smarter than me. I don't get it myself. I'm trying my best to tell you guys. I just don't remember anything beyond that point. Amnesia. I have it too. I don't remember anything since last night. Specifically about a reward game and with two people I don't even know and... But you two seem to know each other. Well, we do, but I have no idea how I got here. So you guys are just as confused as I am. No, way more confused. We've been in here since we woke up. Roughly ten minutes ago. Five minutes after that, Theta spoke to us. And then you waltz in here and say you've been with Gab and Logan? Well, I have. I must have woken up a lot longer ago than you. Maybe multiple times since then, since you forgot the parts in between. Why don't you go back to the story with the coin? Uh, you said you picked heads, right? And then... Yeah, I picked heads and then... Wait, no, I thought I picked tails. Wait a second, I've done this before. The answer is tails. You have chosen tails. What do you mean you've done this before? You have earned your second reward. Yeah, correct. I knew you could do it. It's, I knew it was tails. I yeah, knew it. Yeah, I mean, you did it. I did it, but... You can get the key and let us out of here. Come on. Uh, sure, all right. Oh, sorry. There's a picture of a cat in here. Well, unlock us so that we can look at it. Tails. That was just luck. It could have easily have been heads. 
but I'm glad you picked tails anyway. I'm glad too. I know what would have happened if I picked heads. Well, didn't you say you did this before? I did! I remember being in this exact situation with you and Jordan tied to the same chairs in the same room, except I chose heads and... That doesn't make any sense. How could you have been in the exact same situation? I don't remember anything like that, do you? Yeah, you're not making any sense. Where on my life I'm not making this up? It was the exact same thing, except I chose heads, and I got stabbed in the gut and I died. But you're not dead, so clearly... I know, it's... it just feels like that's what happened. Robin, I want to believe you, but it's impossible. You can't be dead and also standing right here. But I... you know what, never mind. Let's just focus on the here and the now, and not some crazy delusion I have in my head. Just forget anything I said. I'll, I'll try, but I don't think I can forget something that crazy. Anyway, you said something about a, a cat being in the box? Not or... a cat, a picture of a cat. Scrow Donner? Is that its name or something? Do you mean Schrodinger? Is this about that paradox? What are you talking about? You haven't heard of Schrodinger's cat? It's a thought experiment based on quantum theory. Doesn't ring a bell. No, that's Pavlov's dog. Nope. Uh, whatever, it's not too important. If it's relevant, I'll explain it to you later. What I'm more concerned with is where we are. I agree. I've never been to a library like this before. What about you, Jordan? Oh, me? No, I don't I don't get to libraries much these days. Uh, what about you, Robin? Well, actually, it kind of reminds me of the library that my college has, but it's got the same general layout and color scheme. It just seems off, like it's missing a few details. I don't know how else to explain it. Missing details? Like someone tried to copy it, but didn't get it quite right? Yeah, actually. It's really weird. It's almost exactly how I remember it, but... I've never been here, to say the least. Well, now that we know exactly nothing more about this room, can we go? You have the door key, right? Yes, I do. And I agree. What is this place? An auditorium? It looks more like a theater to me. Wait a minute. I remember being here with Morgan and... Morgan's here too? Yeah, because I remember being over there and telling him about the knife machine. What? What? We just left that room. I didn't see anybody else. You're not making any sense yet, but I remember... You know what, never mind. No, what you're saying is clearly impossible. Are you delusional? No, you I... You put your head before you come into the library? Look! You know what? That doesn't make any sense. You could have woken up a lot longer ago than I uh, and Gab. We were there for a while. Uh, did you just leave out some details of your little adventure before you came to us? I don't think Robin would do that. What Robin's saying doesn't make any sense, so there's got to be something missing. What details are you leaving out? Look, if you're implying that I had something to do with this, you're mistaken. I'm stuck in here just like you, and I think it's best if we just drop it and try and find a way out of here. Let's just get out of here. There's probably some doors backstage. Does it smell funny over here? I smell something fishy, all right. Not fishy, like eggs? You are now in my theater, home to a myriad of shows and amusements. You will notice the contraption on the stage. All three of you must sit near a side location. Notice the screen as it displays your rules. Now pay attention to the rules because I won't say them twice. You will notice two buttons. One performs a C function or the other a D. They stand for cooperate and don't. The individual not playing will be the only one with knowledge of which button is which. There will be two rounds of this game. Each participant must pick one of these options during each round. The choices are self explanatory. Choose to team up with the other participant or not. Depending on your choices, you'll be given points. If you both cooperate, the rogue will receive three points and the other will lose one. If you both choose not to cooperate, then neither will receive points. Having the most points will win you your freedom. The person not playing must tell you which button will do which function. Do you trust them? I must mention that this room began to fill with noxious fumes from the moment you entered it. In nine minutes' time, you'll begin having difficulty breathing. So take your seats before you are unable to. Alright, so we have a little bit of time. It can't be too hard, right? All you guys have to do is both pick cooperate both times. Then you'll both have two and tie. Theta never said anything about tying. Theta also never said we couldn't tie. Theta said the most points will win freedom. If you both have the most, you should both win. Or it could just be a trick to trap us here. Which is it, Robin? Look, we don't have a lot of time. Just pick cooperate like I am, and we'll get out of here. Which one is C? It's on your right. Jordan's is the left. So which button did she pick? I just watched. It was cooperate for sure. How can I trust you to tell me which button it is? Well, what did Jordan pick? Um, the screen will tell us, right? What the hell is 
wrong with you? Do you want me to I swear, I just hit the wrong button on accident. I promise. Oh, you swear you chose the wrong button, huh? Are you sure you didn't just try to kill me because you can't get that stupid delusion out of your head? Look, I, look, I never said that. I just didn't trust Gab, but I don't have to anymore because I know which button is which. How do I know you won't screw me over again? Have Gab watch me, okay? She'll tell you what button I pick, and I'm going to pick cooperate, and then you just pick don't. That would work. You'd get three, and Jordan would lose one. You'd both be back at two, like you'd just pick cooperate both times. All right, fine. Uh, Gab, make sure to tell me what Jordan picks. Oh, okay, wait, the button switched. It's the one on your right. Okay, I'm gonna press it now. Well, what did he pick? Um, what do you mean, um? I didn't actually see. What? But you were looking right at him the entire time. Both of Jordan's hands moved, and then the beep went off, and it surprised me. It didn't look like he pressed either. Well, something got picked. What did you pick, Jordan? I, I told you, I picked cooperate. I swear this time, honest. You son of a bitch, you lied! You killed me! No, you... I, I thought what it looks like Theta rigged the game so that you lose. The buttons kept swapping and then... Well, I mean, Theta wouldn't make a game that we couldn't win. We were able to leave the other room like we were told. Why would Theta change the rules on us? A non-player and all victors are... Robin, we're gonna get you out of here. We can find something no, to try. Gab, just leave. You're free. Robin, we're not leaving. Yes, you are. They don't want to left an item for you to cheat with. You might as well leave before the gas fills up the room. But it doesn't matter. And make sure Jordan pays for what he did. For the record, Theta said all victors. We could have both left. When we leave, we'll come back. We'll bring help and then- That's not enough. Go, Gab. I don't want you to get stuck here too. Robin. If you are hearing this, Robin, then you have earned your third reward, A. What? I got a reward? But I lost! How did I get win. one? It may not be the path you are taking, but there is always a path to success. What? Even but how? Theta! Just tell me how to escape! How do I- Even in the face of defeat, there must always be a way. How? Be Why don't you just tell me? Theta! <laughs> Theta! Why did- Robin, you're doing it again. Doing what, Gab? See, I'm not Gab. Robin, welcome back to planet Earth. Is Robin always like this? No, Robin is not always like this. Robin's usually the one waking me up. What's gone into you? I don't know. I'm just confused. So are we. First your story makes no sense, and now you're completely spacing out in the middle of it? I don't mean to. I just can't wrap my head around it. I'm sorry to interject, but uh, did somebody pass gas? <laughs> Whoever smelt it dealt it. No, no, I'm serious. It, it smells like eggs in here now. Eggs? Eggs! That's it! I get it now! Get it? What's it? I, I just... There's no time to explain, but in a moment, Theta's going to... Greetings. You are now in my theater, home to a myriad of shows and amusements. I know how we can get out of here. Why didn't you say so? No, you need to listen to me very carefully. Theta's gonna explain the rules of some weird game that we have to play, but we don't need them. Just trust me on this. I don't know. They might be important. I've already done this before. We can win for sure this time if you just believe me. You know how to win? Well, you were always good at games, so I trust you. Well, if Morgan is aboard, so am I. It'd be easier than trying to win without knowing the rules. Okay, perfect. So two of us are gonna be selected to go sit in the chairs facing each other up there. I don't know who it'll be. Only press the button that does cooperate. The third person has to tell us which one that is. Whoever gets picked to press the buttons just needs to press cooperate twice, and we all get to leave this room before it fills with toxic gas. Toxic gas? What the hell? So that's where the X-Men is coming from? Exactly. Now we just need to get over there and figure out who's doing what before the gas overtakes the room completely. We should have about nine minutes left since they just started talking. Alright, you two sit here, and I'll sit here. We just need to put our arms in the restraints, and then they'll rotate by themselves. But... Don't worry, they'll release when we win. Alright, now just hit the C button. It's on Morgan's left and Casey's right. Perfect, perfect. Now we just do it again, and we win! That's it? That's all we have to do? It seems kinda easier than the knife thing you were telling us about. Well, it's essentially the same thing, it just has two choices. And this one requires multiple people. And trust. The non-player and all victors are free to leave the theater through the now unlocked exits. The reward game is now over. Thank you for your participation. See? I told you it was easy. Now we can leave before the gas overwhelms us. You're right. I don't know how you knew it, but it worked out, so I'm not complaining. 
I agree, let's go before we can. There is only a couple minutes until you said the gas will kill us. Theta, why are you doing this? Why did you do this? Why are you? You still have much to learn. Theta, teach me then. Theta. It doesn't seem like Theta is talking to us anymore. I guess not. Let's just keep moving. The exit should be over this way. Why didn't you say so? I would have been out of here already. That's it. I'm remembering more now, but it's like on the tip of my tongue. I have all the pieces, but I can't put them together. Sounds like amnesia to me. I think Mor Morgan is right about you hitting yourself. See, Dr. Casey over here agrees with me, so let's try to... Doctor. Doctor. Nurse. Jay is a nurse. She told me about soap roll before I... That's it! I dropped the soap roll bottle in here. Soap roll? What's soap roll? I know, I forgot it until now. My memory was jogged. I was holding this little bottle of soap, it's like a little anesthetic. And I dropped it. The pieces should be in here somewhere. Then if we find the pieces, that means that Logan was here. Exactly. We gotta look for them. Let's split up. I don't see anything. Me neither. I guess it's possible that Theta could have came in here and cleaned it up when no one was here. I remember being in here! The entire room is the same as before! It's exactly how I remember it, even down to the Sudoku puzzles. Wait, no. There's something off about it. The completed one had a 9 in the corner of it the last time. Could it be? Greetings. Welcome to the new board game. I am Theta. This is the same as before. What's the same? Theta, they're saying the same thing again. As you were in here with Logan. What do we have to do? We have to solve the puzzle in 90 seconds. What? That's impossible. I can't even solve a puzzle when it's halfway filled out. Yeah, but it's a trick. We aren't really solving the puzzle. Because I already know it. seeing out of these. Yeah, I wonder if they're supposed to be broken like this. Let me see. Theta must mean something by this. I just don't understand it yet. Do you have any memories? Uh, do you see anything different through them? No, nothing interesting. They just look like normal glasses. Ugh, why is everything so difficult? It's just like high school English. English? Yeah, English. You remember the teacher we had? 
She had glasses too, but they were like way thicker. I wonder if she could see for miles. Is that what you thought instead of paying attention to the class? Hey, hey, hey. I learned a little bit, but it was all that mumbo jumbo metaphorical crap, so I tried not to remember it. That's what theta means. What'd you say, Robin? I figured out what theta means by sight. At least, I think. The glasses are a metaphor. They're not actually broken glasses. They represent a different kind of sight. Not the actual physical seeing, because the glasses are broken. So what other kind of sight could there be? You don't have laser eyes, right? You can't see in the future or anything. The future? You sound crazy, but that may be what's happening right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm joking. There's no way you can actually see into the future. But what if I could? We're in this room right now, but I remember being here before. And I broke glass in this room, but it's not here anymore. So you say it's not here because it, has, it hasn't happened yet? Yes. So you're telling me that you're going to deny the most reasonable option that Theta came in here and swept it up? I don't think Theta's even here, so Th yes. No, no, Theta has to be here. They've been talking to us the whole time over the intercom. No, I think those are recorded. The intercom is just playing the messages when it's told to, like on a schedule. I've heard Theta say the exact same things with the exact same tone and pacing in not just this room, but in the theater as well. It's not quite true though. You said you got the reward sign for when you lost and for when you won. But if that was the case, you would have got the reward sign when you lost, right? But I was in a different room both times. The voice could have played simultaneously in both rooms. One for when I win and one for when I lose. I had to have been trapped in the theater if I lost. So it played that audio for that room. I guess what you say won't be right, but it's, it's it sounds crazy. You're talking about seeing the future here. That stuff's only in movies and video games. And I know, I know. It just feels right. Like when I remember the Sudoku puzzle, I felt it in my head that I'd seen this before and that I was right. I just grabbed this marker and let it flow through me. see what's in that box. I mean, I guess we have time. And I'm kind of curious, too. What exactly is that supposed to be? I mean, the key I get, but... Maybe it's some type of clue? I can't tell you what it means, though. I feel like I've seen it before. It's like there, but I can't place it. Well, maybe this will be useful later, but right now I'm really curious as to how you solved that Sudoku puzzle so fast. Yeah, that was insane. I mean, I knew you liked that sort of thing, but I didn't know you were that good. Well, I didn't actually, like, solve it because I already knew the answers. How is that possible? Because you had only just entered the room before Theta told us to fill it in. Um, it's hard to explain, and I don't think either of you would believe me. Try us. You're only making me look curious. I... I think I can see the future. You're right. I don't believe you. I told you. You know you actually sound insane, right? Like, being good at puzzles is one thing, but that's just straight up not possible. I know, but it just feels like what's happening right now. And even if it was true, there's still parts that don't make sense. I'm missing pieces of my memory. It's like I'm shifting between place to place with no recollection of what's happening in between. How so? Wait, you're not actually starting to buy this. Well, no. I'm more interested in the why more than the what. So, remember how I said I was with Gab? Uh, yeah, and you got stabbed. Right, so I just remembered I was also with Morgan. Just now you remember? Jeez, Morgan too. Another friend of yours? All four of us grew up together, but that's not important. So I was with Morgan, and I remember telling him about us in here right now. Which isn't possible because we haven't left yet. Exactly! 
Not only that, but we had to play this game in this theater we were in, and we came back to this exact room. Everything was identical, save for two things. The puzzles on the whiteboard were switched, and the glass sopro bottle was gone. You mean, the one you broke over there? Exactly! It's there now, but it wasn't there then. I think I understand what you're saying. You've entered this room before, you just don't remember it. But you told Morgan about being here, which means you either saw him back in time or into the future. That's more or less the gist. You forgot the third option. You're insane. That kind of thing can't actually happen. And you forgot to mention how you expertly solved the Sudoku in like a minute flat. That's the thing. The puzzles that were on the whiteboard when I was with Morgan are the same puzzles. One was complete and one wasn't. The incomplete one that I solved was complete before and vice versa. I was able to remember the solutions to each one. I just kind of like brought up in my mind in perfect detail and I basically just copied it down. When you were in the, in the room with Morgan, you used the completed one here to solve that one? Yes. So I couldn't have been in the room with Morgan to know the solution to this puzzle because I told him we were in here first. We haven't left yet, so I don't know how I'd time travel in order to fix the order. But if you could see the future, the conflict would resolve itself. You would have been with Morgan before you ever came in here, but you still foresaw us right now. That's what I think. I got a reward for completing this room that Theta called Sight. It was a pair of broken glasses. So, busted glasses gave you that idea? That's what I'm getting. In a nutshell, I guess. I think you got the whole gun here. I'm inclined to agree, but there's really not much point in trying to figure it out now. You seem to forget in between the parts of what you told us, correct? So we're still missing pieces of the overall puzzle. Exactly. And I think this symbol has to do with one of them. I'm just not sure where it fits. But it's not like we're at a dead end. There was that key too. It probably goes to one of the doors so we can leave. Right. Let's get out of here. I'm sure we'll figure out more along the way. I've heard this before. This is Besides the same. This contraption is a ten-sided die laying with one of its faces upright. Definitely. I assure you, it is a regular and fair die, that you cannot see it. Also inside is the key to the room you find yourself locked in. How then can you retrieve his key? Simple. Restrain this yourself from the device right? and choose what Wasn't it a coin? the die to be on by pressing the corresponding button. Choose correctly, and both the restraints and the key will be released. Choose incorrectly, and you won't be leaving those restraints. You have five minutes to decide before the key to the handcuffs and to the doors in this room becomes permanently locked away. It's the same game, but now we have a 1 in 10 chance to guess? What is Theta trying to pull here? Are you sure there's not some type of clue? There's gotta be a trick here. Maybe we can pry open one of these doors, or maybe the books have the answer. We have less than five minutes. There's no way we can go through all these books. We've books. gotta try. No, there probably won't be anything useful in them anyway. Robin has to do this. Me? Why do I have to? You've done this before, right? And you picked the right side of the coin. This is no different. Yes, it is. 50-50 is just luck. One out of 10 But is... it wasn't luck. You said you saw both outcomes. You saw when you died. I think I believe you when you say you can see the future. This must be some sort of test to that effect. I don't think that's not how... As much as I think that's impossible, Jay might be right. I don't think we've got any other options here. You guys are willing to trust me on this? I can't think of anyone else I'd rather trust. I trust you. Now try to visualize the outcomes and see which one will get us out of here. Okay. Okay, I'll try it. You did it, Robin! I did it! I did it! I don't know how I did it, but I did it! I don't know either, but apparently one of my best friends can see the future. How sweet is that? I think under these circumstances, we can say that that is very much a possibility. What did you see this time? I saw everything every time I pressed a button. One, two, three, each one. They all showed me dying, like I, when I chose heads on the coin machine. Except for nine. I saw us standing here talking about it like we are now. Whoa, that's weird. You saw saying these same things? Well, 
No, not exactly. I got sort of like a feeling, I guess. It was more of a general sense of what we were doing. It wasn't super clear, like with the numbers. So, assuming what you're saying is true, you have more concrete outcomes for more concrete choices and more muddied visions for things that aren't so concrete. I guess. Maybe it's because I'm new to this or I can only go back so far at a time. And we found your quip tonight. Maybe you can only see so many things at a time before you need to rest. You seem pretty tired, to be honest. Yeah, actually. I kind of want to sit down for a little bit before we move further. I don't see any harm in that. Theta didn't say about having to leave as soon as we were done. Let's take five in these chairs. Is that what was in that box? Is that a reward? Yeah, I guess. The reward was called tree, so I guess this kind of looks like a tree. When I completed the coin thing, the reward was called cat, and I got a picture of a cat. Which I don't seem to have. Maybe I dropped it? Or maybe you haven't gotten it yet. That's deep. Too deep for me. Let's just talk about this picture, okay? Sure. So, any ideas on what it could be? It looks like a family tree type thing. I was thinking the same thing. I don't think it's meant to be a literal tree. We aren't supposed to take it at face value, like the glasses, which, come to think of it, I also don't have. So, not a tree then? Maybe parts of a tree, like roots, leaves, branches. You just had the same idea I did. What idea? This diagram shows multiple pathways stemming from a single point. More specifically, it's meant to represent the different possible outcomes from a single point. Like forks in a road, or different choices you can make. Or different roles of a dog. Oh, I get it. I don't think I actually get it. So imagine the bottom of this line representing me holding this die. Well, there's not enough lines, but you get the idea. So when I'm holding it, all the sides are showing up. But when I roll it, it's on one side. We can follow this line to represent that. Okay, so each of these branches is a new possibility. Exactly. You can't have a die land on multiple faces at once. When we roll it, the face it lands on is determined by chance. So only one of those outcomes happened. But because there is a possibility of it being any one of the faces, there are multiple branches. Exactly! And I think I know what this means relating to us right now. Do explain. Well, let's simplify things. Imagine I was back at the coin machine with two possible outcomes. I either pick heads or I pick tails. When I pick one, I follow the line down that choice's path and deal with the consequences of choosing that path. The heads path ends while the tails path keeps going with new choices to make. Like when I was at the theater and making two choices again, twice this time. Theater? Okay, maybe I didn't tell you that yet, but you get the idea. I had to make choices, and each time there were different paths for each choice, branching from one another. Okay, that part makes sense, but let's take a step back for a second. You said when you were picking the coin face, you knew what happened for both heads and tails, but both can't happen. You can't be dead and alive at the same time. Same with the die, it only lands on one face. If we go back to the diagram, we see that the paths diverge and only one gets taken. So how can you see the outcomes of all the other ones? If only one path actually happens, how can you see the ones that don't exist? I think that's because they do exist. I'm barely following this, but what you just said clearly made no sense to me. No, 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 not all at the same time, all simultaneously. Again, no sense. I know you've read superhero comics before, Logan. You know how they had those issues where multiple versions of the same hero team up to defeat some great evil? Like alternate universe spin-offs and stuff. Yeah, but... Oh. You're talking about the multiple universe theory. Exactly. When I make a choice, or flip a coin, or roll a die, I only experience one outcome, or one path on this diagram. But all the paths occur, just not in this universe, or timeline, or whatever you want to call it. It happens, but it doesn't happen to this version of me, or this version of the world. Okay. So there's nine other yous dying in that machine for picking the wrong number, and you saw all of them. I think so. I don't just see the future I'm in. I see all possible futures. So like, which one of those futures is the one you originally started in? It's not like that exactly. 
It's like when the outcome is determined, the branch that breaks off is a perfect copy of the initial branch, just with that outcome. So there's no true path, just many nearly identical copies. No, what I mean is, if you trace back all those outcomes from where we are, where did it all begin? Choose wisely. Wait, I'm back here. Could I have looped back around to this room? No, no, I never left. Was this whole thing set up just so I could find this door? just like during the crash and before. Oh good, you're awake. I was just getting the release papers set. I don't have to stay any longer? No, your test came back and you only have a minor concussion, but you don't need to stay for that. Really? Just a concussion? You were pretty lucky from what I heard. An inch or two in either direction and he would have been in some serious trouble. I saw a picture of your crash on the news. Your car was completely totaled and there was so much glass and metal everywhere, I'm surprised none of it actually hit you. Yes, I should just be thankful I wasn't seriously hurt. So, if you'll just sign these release papers, I can get you unhooked from everything. Would you like me to call you a cab? Uh, hey, before you go, I have a quick question. Oh yeah? What's that? Hold that up for me. I had this like weird vision. I mean, I guess it's more of a dream, but it was incredibly vivid. So, what's your question? Well, I mean, I guess I was just kind of like wondering why? Like, I've never really had one like that before, so clear and focused. It could be a side effect of your concussion. I wouldn't worry too much about it, though, because you seem in perfect health. Uh, if you want, we can, you can come back and we can screen you for it later. Okay, thank you. I guess that's that. All right, it looks like you're all set to go. I'll leave you to get dressed. Just follow the signs to the lobby and you'll be out of here. Oh, and your stuff's in a, per in a bin under the bed. Thank you. I think it worked. When I first saw a vision, when I was attacked by that dog as a kid, I thought maybe I was crazy. But parts of what I saw kept happening. 
I kept thinking to myself, what if I can actually see the future? I did as much research as I could to figure out if anybody else knew what I was going through, but all I had was myself to go by. I put the pieces together. Every time I had the fight or flight reflex kick in, I could see something new. So I started doing riskier and riskier things, and I kept having more and more visions. It was that one instance when I saw the worst future yet, a day we remember as 9-11. When that happened, I knew I was right. I knew I could see the future. I had to find a way to harness it, to see better detail so I could change the future that would occur. I came up with an idea. I designed an experiment that would trigger my foresight to practice using it. Every piece was put into place. I had the facility set up, the gear required, and the other people chosen, but I never executed it. I instead crashed my car with the intent of triggering foresight. I made a future probable, and then I saw that future. And it worked. I was able to see every detail and every possibility about it. Now, I think I'm ready. I think I can finally say I've honed the use of my foresight. I've earned my ninth reward. Now I can change the future.